Hello and welcome to a game called Flutin' World. I'm pretty sure that's the name. As you can see, I've also fixed my error and have now started to name the game at the start of the video because in my previous ones, I think my last two, I forgot to mention the game that I was playing and sort of just had to add it as like a shitty little fade in fade out image that appeared randomly on the screen so I've started to fix that now, don't worry. I'm actually going to name what the game is I'm playing now. And like a lot of the games that I tend to review, I didn't really have a passion to make a video on this game. I just sort of saw it and I looked at the trailer and it, I don't know, it looked very graphically challenged. I have no idea what the f***ing pig was doing as well. It really put me off. It creeped me out a bit. I was a bit disturbed by that whole video, but here we are. Not only that, but from what I've seen of it, it kind of looked like a game for the younger audience and not someone of my age. So I was very divided over wherever I was going to play it or let alone make anything on it. I'm not going to lie. I had a pretty rough start with the game as well, because as soon as I opened it up, everything was just everything everywhere. It's only in like alpha at the moment so I'm not going to hold too much against it but the handling of all the objects and everything like that is just it is a challenge and I kind of dropped my grapple gun into the water and it just disintegrated into the very atoms that made it up. I in all my wisdom decided that it was just time to quit the game and uninstall it. Unfortunately there is currently a content drought in the VR game world of today and it was either this this game or some form of Gorilla Tag fan game and I wasn't really feeling a Gorilla Tag fan game so I reinstalled Floating World. This second time around I was a bit more prepared for what the game had to offer in terms of its handling and many many quirks. Can I pick that up? Wait, what might be found in the crates? I don't know because it fell out of my hand and into the water. So obviously rule number one was to not keep any of my valuable items anywhere near the water's edge because otherwise I would lose it for eternity. I was surprised at the game's really really steep learning curve because they have a really weird way of how the controls work. To grab stuff out of your backpack it's all done with trigger and in other games I've always used the grip for that function so it was kind of just trying to learn this new way of doing it. Uh, maybe other games do it as well but I have yet to encounter them. The options also wasn't very helpful because I couldn't rebind the controls in any way so I was just kind of stuck with what I had. So after I accustomed myself with how all of this stuff works and what I'm meant to do, I took a look on the raft and apparently they have a, a fully fledged crafting system as well. There were some bits that I couldn't fully explore because I was short of time to do but apparently you can build your raft and make it even bigger with some sort of tool that uses wood to make furniture. Actually drinking water from a cup is probably the most challenging thing I found so far because it just sort of like leaks as soon as you pick it up. It needs fixing I think. I spent so much time just trying to figure out how I was meant to drink this water. The whole barbecue construction thing that they give you the option of making is a bit useless in my opinion because when you start fishing when you've built that fishing rod because for some reason you can't grab fish with your grapple gun you're able to catch like raw fish every five seconds and it does fill your gauge quite a lot so there wasn't really any need to cook it I spent like 40 minutes in the game or maybe 45 something between that and roughly 30 minutes was just using my grapple gun to get all this stuff from the water and the rest was either exploring the little island I was given or admiring a pig on a really high floating island. Oh, oh it's the pig that was on the trailer. Let's go kill it. Uh, okay, I think I did it. And the pig is dead. I think that whatever was in that chest up there was how to end 
the alpha version of the game. I think that was endgame, but I wasn't really sure how I was meant to get the key. You can craft some sort of sword in the crafting menu, and I think you're meant to use that to kill the pig, and then the pig might have the key, and then you use the key, but the amount of resources you needed to get that sword was just so extortionate it wasn't really worth wasting my time for just to see what the pig would look like dead. It was something like 1.18 thousand wood, stone, plastic and metal and for a little bit of reference for every recycled bit of wood for instance you get from the water i'm pretty sure that gives you like 30 pieces of wood so you would have to do that for a very very long time before you had enough for that sword and then you have all the metal to get and all the plastic to get and all of the stone to get and it was just there's so much that you need that it's not really worth seeing the end if that was what the sword was designed for, because I think it was, but there was also a shark in the game, which is your only enemy, so I guess you could use the sword for that, and maybe he would have a key? I don't really know. I can safely say I enjoyed the game a lot more than I thought I would have. It's still only an alpha, so there's a lot of improvements that need to be made to it, and a lot more future content that's coming to it, I hope. I'll definitely try and keep it updated, based on new updates that they make for it, but that is unfortunately all I've got for today, so if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing, it's absolutely free, and it does help me out a tremendous amount, so thank you if you do decide to do that, and hopefully I will see you next time. Goodbye. Okay. I wasn't really expecting that. Do, do I need that, or am I just gonna let that barrel just blow away like that? Did I need that at all? Oh, there's more. And they're just gonna travel straight through my island. The game itself feels like it's a more serious triple A title, despite what the trailers showed. Because I'm pretty sure there was like, there was a pig that ran around somewhere and it, it had children or something I, I don't I don't know okay so I'm meant to be happy when I pick it up but dissatisfied when I put it on my back okay I can make it turn invisible that's interesting I don't know what I just did we this is so fun Ooh. Steak? Or a plastic drum? Can't I just like Minecraft this and punch it down? Does that not work in this game? If I lose this gun, it may be the death of me. And it's really scary because it won't go in my backpack. Do I eat this? I can. Really? That's exactly. Th yep. Yeah. Okay, well there goes my melons. Ah yes, Crete. The flaming barrel is something I want. What do you give me? Well, it's alright, cool. Well... Really? Oh my life, I swear. I'm going to explode in a minute. Why has it got to be so difficult to put stuff in my backpack? You can't just put your hand there, because it won't work. And you can't just place the items in, well, it worked then, but normally it doesn't work. So like, you can't just do that either, most of the time, it's not really reliable. So, it's like, it's a very specific motion where you just have to go all the way back. I didn't think I was going to enjoy that game, I'm going to be honest. I almost didn't play it at one point. Actually no, that's a lie, I did play it for like, five minutes, and it was all like, a bit everywhere. I don't know if it was just because I had to restart my headset, but it was very, very buggy. And now, it's buggy. But not game breaking. Like, I don't need to restart my headset for it. Because last time, it ended with me dropping this gun into the water. And there was no way in hell I was getting it back or being able to, like, get up these things. And so I just, I left. And for some reason, I don't know why, 
but I have the urge to just try it again. And I'm happy I did, because this is pretty nice. I like this. 